Jerry Harrison here with your tax tips of the week. Education credits have changed again. The American Opportunity Credit is available for up to four years of college education. The credit is a maximum of $2,500. Phase out ranges have been increased, so even if you did not qualify for the HOPE or the Lifetime Learning Credits in the past, you may qualify for the new American Opportunity Credit. The credit can be claimed per eligible student. The Lifetime Learning Credit is still available for those who do not qualify for the new American Opportunity Credit, and the tuition deduction is still available for those over the income limits to qualify for the credits. Additional changes include the American Opportunity Credit is partially refundable. If the credit exceeds your tax liability, you can get cash back in your pocket. You can now include books and fees as part of your tuition cost. Room and board still cannot be counted. The amount of the credit must be reduced by distributions from ESAs or 529 plans. It is important that you work with your tax advisor to ensure you get the most possible by coordinating the credits with the educational savings plan distributions. Currently, the American Opportunity Credit is available only for the 2009 and 2010 tax years. If you are looking for more information, go to jerryharrison.com and find the expanded article found in our online January newsletter. Be sure to check out the YouPromise link to find some additional ways to save for college cost. Whether your child is a newborn or headed off to school next year, YouPromise can provide you with free money to use towards tuition cost. Give Jerry Harrison Financial Services a call at 729-4144 if we can be of assistance in helping you prepare your income tax return, claiming education credits, or help in determining the best ways to take advantage of the education credits and saving plan distributions.